So we are uh, in Milano with uh, José uh, Bové and uh, we will talk today about uh, the, the common agricultural policy with a lot of NGO which are not NGO of agriculture people but who want to have a real debate uh, around the common agricultural policy here in Milano. But in Milano we are also going to have elections uh, in, um, in 10 days and uh, so this is also an occasion for José to come and support the Green List uh, here. José. Well, uh, of course, here I'm here firstly to support the Greens in the coalition in Milano. Because I think this is what is happening here in this city is very important because for the first time since maybe 20 years, the Greens and the coalition can win this election. So this is a laboratory for us for changing what is happening in Italy. So I think this is very important to be here as representative of the Green European Party. So this is the first reason why I'm here, to support the Greens in this election. And the second reason, of course, is to talk about the cap reform. In this moment, we have the capacity maybe to change the direction of the cap policy. And this is very important because since 30, 40 years now, CAP have been destroying uh, uh, farmers' employment, has been destroying environmental uh, problems, and have also destroyed the quality of food. And maybe we'll be able to change it, but we have to be strong in the parliament, but also with the civil society to change the situation. And that's why the Green Party in the parliament supports the proposition of Dacian Cholos. Uh, the Commissioner for Agriculture, we support him in his uh, volunty to change this cap. And that's why it's important now to say clearly what we want. We want to put completely to change how the subsidies are distributed, to take out this logical where you have more you have hectares, more you have subsidies. So this is the first thing. In this reform, we talk for the first time of small farms and how the small farm can keep employment, can keep biodiversity in the countryside. So this is also important. And the third thing which is inside this reform and that we support is that we can be able, in the first pillar, which is the main part of the distribution of subsidies, to uh, oblige the farmers to have good practices which are uh, agricultural good practices, which are protecting environment. So this is very important. But we have also to struggle on the economic issues, because what we are seeing now at the European level is that the European agriculture politics don't care anymore about how we protect uh, the economy, how we be able to say that the farmers should not be able to sell their products under their cost of production. So we have to fight also for that. So that's why we ask all the Greens all over Europe to fight with us and to be sure that they can explain what are the issues for agriculture, because this is the only integrated policy we have in Europe. So if we are able to have a good European agricultural policy, that means that we can build a better Europe. Grazie mille.